Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the placement of the temperature sensor that activates the radiator fan. This is the radiator fan. This is the return pipe coming from the thermostat. The return pipe goes into the radiator. Just above the radiator is the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is over here. It doesn't work simply as a binary function like on off. What it does is it measures the temperature of the coolant. So if the coolant coming past the temperature sensor is very hot, well then the fan will go on at a higher rate. If it is not as hot, well then the fan will just go on at a marginal rate. Right, there's a little spring that holds this in place. I've removed that. Now if I take this off, watch the radiator. Right, I've returned the connector back to its housing. The temperature sensor can measure the coolant temperature coming from the radiator moving via the return pipe to the thermostat. The thermostat would have, have to have opened in order for this to have taken place. So when the thermostat opens, coolant can flow past the temperature sensor. The measurement at the temperature sensor therefore informs the radiator fan in terms of what speed the radiator fan will operate at. There you can see the radiator fan engaging but it's only going at a medium speed because the temperature of the car is not very high at the moment. Therefore, if your temperature sensor is not working, you might find that your fan gets to a very high velocity. You'll even hear that noise. Or you might find that the fan, the radiator fan, does not engage. Therefore, you'll have overheating. And lastly, if the temperature sensor is operating but is inaccurate, well, then your radiator fan will be coming on or going off at the wrong temperature levels. All right, thanks for watching and cheers.